A drug driver who killed his friend during a collision in Runcorn has been jailed. She's the time is flags. five past eight. I'm yeah. going to fear the rest to, to fail to provide. Okay. You don't say anything may harm your defence. You don't mention when questioned somebody which relates to any court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand that? Hayden Patterson appeared at Chester Crown Court. On Tuesday, 14 May, where he was sentenced to nine years in prison to serve a minimum of six years of this sentence. On release, he will remain on license until the end of the nine-year sentence. Should please help can I help? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in Bunkhorn. I've just been driving the car. A car in front of me skidded off. He's in the bushes. The car's upside down. I dragged one of the lads out. He's run off. The fire are going to stabilise the vehicle at the moment. It is up an embankment entangled in some trees. Then they're going to look at extracting this male. Um, we've got a second male. Um, given the state of this vehicle, I don't know where anyone was sat. He's made off. So I'm uh, getting a description to you ASAP from uh, PC Williams for him. Uh, we'll have serious concerns for his uh, physical well being after that. Can I ask you just to oh, yeah, yeah. go up that way? Hello guys, can I ask you to move away just in case that rolls down? Is that alright? Thanks a lot. Right, it's okay mate. Listen, because you suspected a driver mate, okay. I'm going to ask you to provide a road, uh, roadside breath sample, okay? No, just well, but as soon as I'm not in the car, I will just decline it. You say, say again? I'll decline that because I'm not in the car. Right, I've suspected... Listen, yeah, I'm suspicion, I'm suspicion, listen, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I'm going to... I'm going to tell you now, okay, I suspect you're driving. I'm going to ask you to provide a roadside breath sample, okay? Is there any medical reason why you can't provide me one? Medical? Yeah. No, 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 okay. It's just because I've not been pulled in a car. Okay, I've you suspected you. The street over I've there. I've suspected you of driving, mate, okay? Okay, sir. You pulled me off the street over there, that's enough said, okay? Sir. Listen, are you going to give me a roadside no. breath sample? Thank you. No. You're I not going to give me one. I was coming to hand myself in then. Okay, right. She's Time to is flags. five past eight. I'm yeah. going to fear the rest to, to fail to provide, okay? You don't say anything, may harm your defence. You don't mention when questioning somebody which relates to any court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand that? The 30 year old of Barron's Close, Whitney's, pleaded guilty to causing death by careless driving while over the drug drive limit cocaine and cannabis. He also admitted possession of class A drug cocaine and possession of class B drug cannabis. During the hearing, the court was told that on Monday, October 17, 2022, Patterson had been out with his friend, 41-year-old Kevin Viles, at a pub in Whitney's. The pair spent around two hours in the pub, before leaving at around 5.40 p.m. In Patterson's Mini Cooper, they then drove towards Runcorn, traveling over the Mercy Gateway Bridge and onto the Central Expressway. At around 5.55 p.m., Patterson turned onto the Southern Expressway, where he lost control of the vehicle, initially driving towards the central reservation, before steering away, resulting in the Mini Cooper rotating across the carriageway and onto a grass verge where it rolled onto the roof and up the embankment. Following the crash, Patterson climbed out of the car and spoke to a witness at the scene, before running off on foot, leaving Kevin in the car with serious injuries. Emergency services were called to the scene and Kevin was subsequently freed from the car before being taken to Aintree University Hospital. Patterson was subsequently located by officers at his home in Whitney's, where he was seen throwing wraps of cocaine and cannabis out of the window, before again attempting to make off on foot, but was quickly located and arrested in relation to the incident.